So I don't really think people are really afraid anymore of, or they weren't even before that afraid of COVID-19. And the reason I think they're not afraid is because even though they might, might have seen or they heard of someone being um, sick with it, I don't think it really made a strong enough impact. And I think for the mere reason that it is not as as aggressive enough for some people because, you know, to, <clears throat> I believe when people are um, in a society where violence is prevalent, or they're used to seeing violence, or they're used to seeing um, death. It's it's not as I'm trying to find the words here. I would say it would have to be something so catastrophic. And I know this sounds this may sound really crazy that people have to see that something is real, but I believe that's how this disease actually has to be something so catastrophic to where it's like apocalyptic, where you see hospital systems like everywhere, hospitals collapsing, where you see people starting to hunker down and the news feeds are just a plethora of information on safety and where to go if you need food or shelter. Um, it has to be a situation so dire that, like this article, China warning that of a colossal, and colossal sounds like it could be somewhere in the apocalyptic event that could possibly occur if the environment is right for such diseases to just flourish and, you know, go from host to host. And if you have hospital systems or hospitals that collapse and they collapse one after the other to the point to where People can't even get regular help uh, for like regular diseases, you know, things that aren't COVID related. Um, I believe that's when even the naysayers or the people that don't really believe or have a lot of skepticism in all of this will finally realize, wow, this is nothing that I've ever seen ever before. And the death has to be a lot worse than what we saw in 2020 and, and up to now. It has to be to the point to where you literally see people begging in the streets, help me, help me, because I can't breathe, or I don't know what's happening to me, um, I'm sick, could you help me? Uh, people rushing to the stores to find food. It has to be to that extreme before people can really take this thing serious, I believe. And I know it sounds really extreme that I'm going through this scenario, but I will say this. I actually dreamed that it got to that point and that it was so bad that people were afraid to go out of their house. There wasn't the issue of lockdown, people were locking themselves down because they did not want to catch anything from someone. So there was this frenzy, but it was like nothing you never seen before where people were trying to get water, they were trying to get tissue, it became violent, people were pushing and shoving, fights were breaking out, and of course, criminals were having a field day, breaking into places 
like stores. You think looting is bad now. It became tenfold even worse than what it is now. I believe these people that they've been reporting that have been breaking into some of these high-end stores, which I've been hearing about that and I've been seeing it, it's a pattern. But I believe it could get worse if this disease gets worse. And it won't just be an organized group, which it sounds like this group is organized. And I do know that it sounds or it sounds to me like they could be possibly a gang and they're organized and they are hitting high end stores. Um, and I believe that if this thing that we're looking at here gets any more worse, it won't just be them breaking into stuff. And so that is the scary part. And I'm not really thinking that that couldn't happen. I mean, you know, we're in holiday season. Like just earlier today, like here in South LA, people were shopping like crazy. Yes, I did see people wearing masks, but then I saw a lot of people who weren't. And it's it's sort of back and forth. You see people who they won't wear masks outside, but they will wear it when they go inside of places. And then some don't. Some will go inside of places without wearing anything because they have their specific beliefs or they have their doubts or skepticism on this whole issue. And then two, you have people who believe, yeah, this is happening, but they think it's orchestrated. And so... This article I found out of Reuters, it says China study that they've done, and they've done a lot of studies, and they said a lot of other um, variants have come out of this. Right now, they sounded the alarm because they said New York is at, at a what you would call, I believe, a state. They declared a state of emergency, and I believe it has something to do with the traveling because that's been happening like crazy right now and they said the traveling is actually spiked because 2020 a lot of people didn't get to go see loved ones they were separated because of the lockdowns and it just you know it was a very stressful situation I don't think that was that stressful compared to what's about to possibly possibly happen if this thing gets any worse so this article is saying that This could turn into a colossal COVID outbreak if it opens up like the U.S. has opened up and France. And so already I did see they said that, um, and I hadn't really talked about this in a while, but I believe this is sort of building up to what I had foresaw and I had dreamt that it was so crazy that people were like, and it started, it didn't happen all at once. It started with a couple of countries where the outbreak was so bad that people were like fighting in the streets. They were trying to clamor. And it it wasn't just mindless violence. Totally, it was what it was, was survival instincts were kicking in because people knew this disease is so bad. Hospital systems have collapsed. The The first instinct for us as people to thrive is food and water and shelter and all of these things that your body needs to sustain itself because you fear that if you don't have those things for yourself and your your family and people and immediate loved ones that you will perish. (laughs) So people's instincts start kicking in. And so when they see craziness like chaos a lot of sickness, the first thing that pops into your head, let me get more tissue, let me get more water. And that's what happened here, like in 2020 at the beginning, like around March, when they first started hearing about this. And it really wasn't to the magnitude that this article is talking about, but this article was saying that all it has to do is start with one country. And from what I heard, this there's another variant. It's They think it originated, um, this one was in Southern Africa, but 
what has been driving it is the traveling. And we are in holiday time, so people are going to visit loved ones. They're going to people's house. I see people, you know, visiting people and everything. And that's a normal thing to do. That's what people do, you know. So, I mean, I, you can't blame people for wanting to be with their loved ones. But then, two people are ignoring the fact that this pandemic is not over with. And that you could also be exposing your loved ones or you're exposing yourself to something that you might not be able to control. Um, That's the unfortunate part of all this. But it says China could face more than... Now listen to the number of this. This sounds a lot like what I had dreamed. More than 630,000 COVID-19 infections a day. That sounds apocalyptic to me. And so if it gets to that magnitude, all it has to do is start with one country. And the way we've been traveling and the U.S. is open up, France is open up, and I know some other places have not really been following any protocols. If we got to that magnitude of that many people getting infected, just think of how many more deaths. You think we had a lot of deaths in 2020 and, and at the beginning of 2021? We haven't seen anything yet. And so I'm I'm almost certain that if this thing does get out of control, it could get so bad that we'll see a whole lot of deaths on a massive scale that we have never, ever in our lifetime imagined. But it says infections could get to that point. But if dropped, it's zero tolerance policies. That is what could happen by lifting travel curbs, according to the study by a Peking University mathematician. And so, I mean, you know, you can't lie about some of these things. Some of these things are evident. And unfortunately, with all the indecisiveness and the misinformation that we're getting from different sources, you know, who would see this coming? And so, in a report published in China, the CDC Weekly by the Chinese Century for Disease and Control and Prevention, the mathematicians said that China could not afford to lift their travel restrictions without more efficient vaccinations or specific treatments. Now, even though they haven't lifted their restrictions, that doesn't mean people won't try to sneak in and sneak out who could possibly be infected. And it could happen in other countries. We have other variants. Nobody's really talking about this that much. We hear, you know, every now and then something, but then we hear a lot about the holidays because people want to go on with life like normal, which is normal to do. Um, But unfortunately, we still do have this pandemic. So using data for August, from the U.S., Britain, Spain, France, Israel, the mathematicians assess the potential results of China if it had adopted the same pandemic control tactics as those countries. So China's daily cases would reach to a uh, at least in the least 637,155 if it adopted the U.S. pandemic strategy. This is what the report has said. So the daily cases would reach or would hit about 275,793 if China took the same approach as Britain and 454,198 if it it imitated France's protocols. So it was given a scenario if it went the same way as, as all these other countries have that's how many people would get infected. And so the estimates reveal that the real possibility of a colossal outbreak, which would almost certainly include an unaffordable burden on the medical system, the report said. And so our findings have raised a clear warning that for the time being, we are not ready to embrace open up strategies, resting solely on the hypothesis of herd immunity induced by vaccinations advocated by certain Western countries. And so that sounds really um, scary because 
I just saw an article where they said some guy was stowed away in a plane. I don't know what that's about, but, you know, maybe he was restricted from leaving somewhere and, you know, he had to go through some steps and he didn't want to do that. So he was trying to sneak on the plane and go somewhere. And I'm pretty sure that other people have attempted to do different things like go go somewhere and they hadn't followed protocols or, or they, maybe they know that they're sick, but they just aren't saying anything. Or they haven't been following any, any of this. They've been following it, but they've been following about how to avoid it. And so they could possibly be infected. And so these are the things that slip through the cracks. So it says the uh, mathematicians cautioned that their estimates were based on basic arithmetic calculations that more sophisticated models were needed to study the evolution um, of the pandemic if the travel restriction was lifted. So China has maintained a zero tolerance policy towards the COVID-19. So anytime a place such as China is taking it so extremely serious, but other countries are not doing the same thing and following suit, it's kind of concerning. So saying the importance of containing local cases when they are found outweighs the disruptions caused by efforts to trace, isolate, and treat infected. And so China reported 23 new confirmed coronavirus cases. This was in November on the 27th down to about 25 uh, a day earlier. So its health authority said on Sunday. So they're very strict. So the WHO, which is the World Health Organization on Friday, designated a new COVID-19 variant detected. This is the one I was talking about earlier. It's in South Africa with a large number of mutations as being of a concern right now. So <clears throat> the stocks had tumbled because of this, because of the fears that people have that this thing, if it gets out, it could get to this level. So that's probably why the stocks had tumbled. So prompting some countries to impose travel curbs right now. So that's what's happening in real time. So some people, even though they're not taking it serious, um, this thing could get to that point. And if it does, man, we really, we really will need, we really will need some help, some help, some spiritual help. I'm telling you, because just from 2020, how crazy it was. I mean, having the hospital systems collapse. You know, people who have like just regular things going on with them, maybe heart disease, they might have diabetes, other little ailments, like how are you going to get your medicines? You know, even if they, you know, you might have to go back into the, where you have to do like your visits over the phone. Some people probably do that anyway, but now it, if it gets to this point, to this colossal COVID outbreak level, that sounds like that could be something that is uh, pretty serious. And at that point, I don't think um, when it gets to that extreme that um, it doesn't sound like it's good. That's all I can say. And, and I, there were some other things that I, I kind of saw, but it was not good. And so I don't mean to be the bearer of bad news during you know, what people are trying to celebrate, you know, I, I, I'll be honest, I'm trying to put a lot of this out, out of my mind, but I just feel like I have reason to believe that it's because of all the indecisiveness and the way that people don't take things serious. And then some of it is distrust. Um, it's a, a mixed bag of, of, of things. So that's the reason why I believe it could actually easily go into this. And so <clears throat> I just think that when China takes something serious, such as these diseases like this, and they, they try to be real strict about it, that when you have people saying, oh, you shouldn't worry, even the WHO, the World Health Organization, oh, there's no cause for worry. I feel like that's when you probably should worry because they are trying to study it, they claim, but maybe it has gotten out. And from what I read, it did get out. 
some of these variants and we don't know if those are the ones there could be one of these variants if not one or more of these variants could be the one that might be the start of this what you see here is something like that we've never seen before where it could possibly bypass all these vaccines that people have been taking the vaccine is whether you're vaccinated or not, it could just bypass all of that. And that's actually what I was seeing. And so it's scary. And it's nothing like you never want to see. But um, all we can do is wait and see what happens. But I wouldn't, I would say this, I would not be surprised if something like this was to happen because of all of the debates you know, the politicians that argue against one another on safety protocols and how they're going to run their, the governors, how they're going to run their states. Then we have issues with race in 2021. I mean, come on now. It's like, it's just so much craziness. And then you have homelessness. Like, we haven't seen, I mean, it just seems to increase but this right here, definitely. People who are even financially stable, this would threaten them because it would threaten the monetary system greatly. And so that's what I was seeing. And so I'm going to stop right now. <laughs> but let's just do what we can and hope that it doesn't get to this level. But it depends on what the way people, you know, maintain their their uh, life and how they uh, treat one another and and how they take this thing. Either it's a serious issue, and then I I will say this before I close that also the other thing that was really bad is people were blaming the government that they felt that this was what I first saw in a dream. Okay. I'm not saying this happened, but I'm not surprised if it doesn't actually, or if it does happen, you know, if, if, it, if it, it, it doesn't turn out to just be a dream, it turns out to be somewhat of reality. It's kind of almost like that now in some ways, in some sense. It just hasn't, we haven't seen the colossal effect take, take hold yet. Yet. I'm hoping not a yet, but, <laughs> um, but politicians started blaming each other. Um, we did end up having to go on lockdown. There was martial law called uh, for certain areas because there was like heavy, heavy looting traffic. Um, police were out in full force. It was crazy. I mean, it was nothing like you never seen before. It was like regular civilized countries seem like they became breeding grounds for like looting and just a whole lot of chaos and so they had to call like riot police and military and everything and it got that crazy but it was so bad because of the disease that was the the main reason why things got out of control and so that's what I'm hoping this doesn't get like that. But oof, looking at this article, it's almost like it's what I foresaw could. Uh, anyway, like like it said here, colossal warns of colossal outbreak.